San Diego getting the better of Angel City on the weekend, but it's been a battle of expansion teams, Herc, so far in the 2022 NWSL season. Who do you think has had a better first year? Is it San Diego or is it Angel City? Well, let, let me clarify. Mm -hmm, it, on mm -hmm. the field, it's obviously San Diego. They're, they're okay. leading the league. But bear with me to where I'm going to take this. LAFC is changing the game right now in NWSL. It's very good. 32,000 is an insane number. Mm -hmm. Anywhere in the world, it really is in today's football market, football atmosphere. And for, and for the San Diego Wave to get this is truly something special. But I'm talking about changing the game, mm -hmm. okay? I'm talking about Angel City right now. Before they came into NWSL, they were giving out franchises for two, three million dollars and you get your franchise, okay? They just did an evaluation on Angel City FC that's $100 million. They got $45 million in sponsorship commitments. They're doing well in NWSL, and they're doing this, mind you, without their best player, Kristen Press. Mm. They're completely changing what is the complexion of NWSL and how people view franchises and the potential investment for years to come. 32,000 in one game? That is great, but to sell out continuously, to have upwards of 19,000 for the last eight games you've played in at home, that is something special. They are changing the game right now in NWSL. All right, so you're giving it consistency over the one-time big number of San Diego way. That's fair enough. I think we have to see what San Diego does in game two, game three, so on and so forth. Maybe what they even do next season at Snapdragon, because if you can continue to draw 32,000, that's pretty impressive, right? Of That's course. good. You talk about changing the game. You could say the Portland Thorns for a while were the, the leaders in attendance in NWSL because they had the biggest stadium with the biggest capacity and the most capacity to fill that stadium. San Diego is going to change that game now. They're going to change that calculus. But I'm with you. I think Angel City, if we're talking off the field, has done a lot of good beyond just, you know, the tickets sold, the merchandising, the gear. Ha has San Diego sent us gear yet? Still waiting. Still waiting, and there you go, the true decisive factor in which team has had the better expansion year, which team got around to sending us gear first here on Football Americas. I think it was, uh, it was Angel City uh, FC. Good shout as well to acknowledge that they've done all that they've done without Kristen Press, uh, but shout out to the star for San Diego as well. They've had a great, great expansion season, and a lot of that is because they bet on the right player to build their team around. Yeah. That was Alex Morgan. A lot of people might have said, oh, does Alex Morgan, does she still have it in her? Is she still going to be Lee hungry? Greer. No. They bet on Alex Morgan, and it has paid off extremely well for San Diego, who right now are the top team in the NWSL table. And for that, as an expansion squad, they certainly deserve a lot of credit. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.